Today I'm going to show you something that just might save your life. This could be the most important video that I've made all year. Every single year disasters happen all around the globe. Tsunamis, wars, fires, tornadoes, anything could happen. Whether you're ready or not, there's always a chance that you might be involved in a natural disaster. The first three days or 72 hours are the most important after a disaster occurs, because that's how long it takes for help to arrive. During those two or three days while you're waiting for help to arrive, it's good to have something called a 72 hour kit or a bug out bag full of necessities and food and water. You can put whatever you want in your 72 hour kit, like a first aid kit. Flashlights are pretty important. Might be nice to have a little bit of rope. Something to start a fire with. The single most important thing you can have in your 72 hour kit is three days worth of pure clean water. If you haven't guessed yet, I'm building more than one 72 hour kit, and I'll tell you why in just one second. But if you ever find yourself in a disaster situation with a little bit of forewarning like you would at the flood or a hurricane, make sure you fill your bathtub up with water and put a stopper in it. That way you have enough fresh, pure, clean water for a couple days. You gotta get some of the other necessities. The second most important thing you need after water is food. Now these things don't taste very good, but they're small, have a lot of calories, and a super long shelf life. You can find these at a lot of grocery stores and sporting goods stores, but I'll try to link some down in the video description as well. Keep in mind that if you're gonna build a 72 hour kit, you really don't have to buy anything. You can get food and water and just stick it in a backpack. Just make sure it's enough for three days. So to recap, we have fire, light, first aid, hygienics, rope, trail mix, which is actually super high calories and doesn't take up a lot of space. I think each one of these bags has about 3,500 calories in it. We have knives, we have a rain poncho, these are actually really cheap. We have some more food, remember these don't take up a lot of space, but they're super high calories. And most importantly, we have water. And last but not least, it helps if you have a waterproof bag to put everything inside. If you don't have a waterproof bag, you can always use a trash bag, something cheap. Remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this. The most important thing is, is that you have one. You don't have to put the same things that I put in my kit in your own kit. You can personalize it by adding clothes, medication. You can also put identification in there. The most important thing is, is that you have enough food and water for three days. Or more days if you have enough money and space to store it. More is better. That way, whether it's a regular apocalypse or a zombie apocalypse, you're gonna be prepared. Christmas is coming soon here in the United States, and in the spirit of Christmas, I'll be donating these kits here locally to people who need them. It's one of the small ways that I can light the world or make the world a better place. It doesn't matter if you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or any of the other holidays, or even if you hate holidays, these are something good to have. And it's also something good to give, especially because it might save a life. If you end up making one of these for yourself, or giving it as a gift to a friend or family member, take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook with the hashtag LightTheWorld so I can see what you made. And together, we can make the world a better place by being prepared. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.